Hey everyone, I'm sure you guys must be using the iOS 16 beta for a while now. I had used the iOS 16 beta for a while now, though it is a beta 4 now. But, still, I'm gonna say, it's not stable enough. App crash, music widget doesn't show on the lock screen sometimes. The green dot on the lock screen, and many other bugs that didn't happen on my iPhone. But surely some of your guys had met them before. There are also many people complaining iOS 16 bugs on social media or websites. So, I'm going to remove the iOS 16 beta from my iPhone and get it back to iOS 15 in two ways. I will get iOS 16 back when the formal version is out. If you have the same purpose, just follow the video. First way, uninstall iOS 16 beta with Tenorshare Reiboot. This is an iOS repair tool that also has a downgrade feature. Check the download link in the description and download it. Once installed, connect your iPhone to a PC or Mac. Before we start to uninstall the beta, I strongly recommend you backup your iPhone first. This is necessary if you already made a backup before you upgrade to iOS 16 beta. Then you don't need this step. You can backup through iCloud, iTunes, or Finder. To backup through iTunes or Finder, you need to connect your iPhone to it and click backup now. Once the backup is finished, we can begin to uninstall the iOS 16 beta. Let's go back to Reiboot. You can see an option named Downgrade iOS here. Click it. Here we need to choose the Deep Downgrade option because it is downgrading iOS 16 to iOS 15. And don't worry about your data. Because we just made a backup, I will show you how to get your data back later. Click the Deep Downgrade option. Here you can see Reiboot automatically detected your iOS version and the version you can downgrade to. Click the downgrade option to download the firmware that is needed. Download will not be long, depending on your network condition. Once the download is done, click Start Deep Downgrade. The downgrade process will take a while, be patient, and do not disconnect your iPhone during the process. Once the process is done, I will skip to the app and data page. Here you can choose Restore from iCloud if you had a backup in there. Then you can see, my iPhone is downgraded to iOS 15, and the iOS 16 beta is no longer exist. Next, I will show you guys and install iOS 16 beta with iTunes, if you want to get your data back right now. Go to the Restore Backup part. Second way, Uninstall iOS 16 beta with iTunes. This method requires you to download the firmware yourself. So, go to your PC or Mac, type ipsw.me on the browser bar. Choose iPhone, choose your iPhone model, then you can see iOS 15 firmware here. Click it. Download it to your PC or Mac. It will take a long time, your network condition is bad. Once the download is complete, connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac and open iTunes. If you're using a PC, hold the shift key and click the restore iPhone option. Choose the firmware that you just download and click restore. If you're using a Mac, hold the option key and click the restore iPhone option. Choose the firmware that you just download and click restore. Then the downgrade will begin. This process will take a long time about 30 minutes or longer, depending on your device. Be patient, wait for the process over. Then you can see my iPhone has already downgraded to iOS 15. Now let me show you how to get your data back. Due to the backup iOS version is different, so we need to modify it first. If you use a PC to backup your iPhone through iTunes, press the Win key plus R key and type percent user profile percent or percent app data percent to locate the backup file. If you use a Mac to backup your iPhone through Finder, just click the Manage Backups option and right-click your backup file. Choose Show in Finder. Whether it is a PC or a Mac backup, it is the same way to modify, so I will do it in PC. In PC, click Apple Folder, Mobile Sync, Backup, and click your backup folder Scroll down to the bottom, find a file named info.plist, open it and press Ctrl key and F key, 
and type product to search for the word. Below the word product version you can see iOS 16.0 here. Change it to 15.5 or 15.6 or other. Depending on what version of iOS your iPhone is running after the downgrade so that it can match your iOS 15 iPhone, then save the file. Then connect your iPhone to iTunes, here will pop up two options. Click restore from this backup option, choose the backup we just modified then hit continue. Wait for the restore process complete. Then your iPhone data is back. The iOS 16.0 is already removed from your iPhone. It's simple. Hope this video is helpful to you. I'll be grateful if you subscribe. See you next time.